Today on this 2009 Chrysler Aspen, we're going to install part number 90885, the Prodigy P2 brake controller. We're also going to use an install kit, part number ETBC7. First thing we're going to do is install the bracket for the ETBC7 kit. We're going to install it right next to the hitch. And we're actually going to mount the bracket backwards so we can hide the connector a little bit behind the plastic on the bumper cover. Next step is to go ahead and do some partial assembly on the seven pole itself. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and add the gray cable and we'll hook it up to our seven pole connector. What we're gonna do is actually just wind this up in electric tape and leave our leads out that we need. We'll leave a four pole sticking out and we're gonna need a brake wire, which is gonna be blue, and our black wire for 12 volt power supply. And then we'll just wrap up our purple and white wire. Our white wire is gonna direct us to the frame for ground. And then the purple wire is gonna be for reverse lights if it's ever needed. And to our black and blue wires, we're going to install a gray cable which has the black and white wires inside of it. What we're going to do is just peel away the gray sheath and strip the wires back and make our connections. And we're going to go black to black and white to blue. Cover those up with some electric tape. Next we'll go ahead and install the loom along the wires like this. All right, with that assembled, now we can go ahead and install it onto the bracket. Let's go ahead and connect the two four poles together. This is the one from the ETBC7 kit, and this is the pre-existing four poles on the vehicle. We'll pack them full of Dell Electric grease, and we'll go ahead and tape them shut and run a zip tie around them just to make sure they stay together. Okay, next we'll go ahead and route our wires and tuck them safe out of the way. We'll leave that alone for now. Let's go ahead and tape up our wires and have them safe out of the way. Next we'll go ahead and take the ground wire and just ground it directly to the frame. Now we'll go ahead and continue running our wire up to the front of the vehicle, up to the engine compartment. Right, once you pull the wire up, route it over to the battery. Make sure you have enough length to reach the positive terminal on the battery. We're going to remove the sheath and separate the black and the white wire. The black wire is going to continue on going to the positive terminal of the battery, and the white is actually going to get ran inside and hooked up to the blue wire on the brake controller. Let's go ahead and route our black wire back over to the battery. Let's go ahead and find a place for our circuit breaker. This is going to be the 40 amp circuit breaker, and this is going to be for the 12 volt power supply, which we're, we're working on right now. We're actually gonna mount it in this pocket right here, and we'll run our wire across the terminals and up to the battery. Now to our wire, we'll go ahead and add our two ring terminals. Uh, the small ones will connect to the circuit breaker. Now the other half of this wire, we'll go ahead and cut it to length as well, match up to our terminal here on the positive side. We'll add a ring terminal to that. That'll be one of the larger ones. Okay, we'll go ahead and hook these up to the circuit breaker. For the output going to a 12 volt power supply, we'll use the silver post, and the wire going out to the battery, we'll be using the copper post. And a connection going to the battery, we'll actually save that for last. Now we're gonna take our white wire. This is gonna actually ran to the blue on the brake controller wire. There's a grommet on the inside that we can use. So what we're gonna do is take a wire from the inside and pull it to the outside, then pull this through. Okay, we'll go ahead and pull this on back through. All right, let's cut off our excess wire. And since we're in a vehicle, let's go ahead and start mounting up the brake controller as well. We can start making our first connection to the brake controller. We'll actually hook up a white wire that we ran earlier. We'll hook it up to the blue wire. Next, we'll go ahead and deal with our red wire, and we're gonna run this to the cold side of our brake switch. So that means every time we hit our brake pedal, we have signal coming through the red wire. Follow the brake pedal up until we find the electrical switch, and look for some wires that come out from the side. All right, we'll go ahead and take our tester, and we'll ground it to part of the inside of the vehicle. We'll just go ahead and test the wires to see what we have. That's the wire we want. It looks like a white wire with a tan stripe. 
We'll use a scotch lock that's included with the ETBC7 kit. We'll attach it to the wire we want to tap off of. Next two wires we need to deal with are the white and black wires. Now, what we're supposed to do is go ahead and use that remaining wire that we had left over. However, it's gonna be a little bit on the short side. So we're actually gonna get another length of wire to make this run back to the battery. Okay. Go ahead and take a wire. Now it's gonna be easier to, to push this wire from the inside back out. And just go ahead and pull back the sheath and connect it color for color. We'll go ahead and tape these up and bundle them up safe and out of the way. We're underneath the hood again. So let's go ahead and route that wire back over to the battery. Let's go ahead and mount our second circuit breaker. This is going to be the 20 amp. Pull back the sheath on this wire as well because the white wire is going to go to ground and the black wire will go to the circuit breaker and then onto the positive terminal of the battery. Measure our length. We'll add the ring terminals again. And the other half of the, the short wire, we'll go ahead and add the large ring terminal. Hook we'll up to the circuit breaker. Going out to the brake controller, we'll use a silver post. And out to the battery, we'll use a copper post. Let's move on to our white wire. Now we'll go to the ground. That'll be the negative side of our battery. And we'll add another large ring terminal to it. All right, now we'll go ahead and make, make our connections to the battery. Our connections are done to the battery. Go ahead and try out the brake controller on your trailer or tester. That'll finish it for our install of following parts. A part number 90885 to Prodigy P2 brake controller and the part number ETBC7.